Um, but yeah, so Lamar contract, right? We all know he he deserve whatever he wants. And again, I believe that he isn't adamant about this process right now because it's a waiting game. He's trying to see and trying to fill out, you know what I'm saying? What, where, how am I going to be able to maximize my dollar other than winning a Super Bowl? Not saying he's thinking that way, but just saying, you know, elements. Uh, how else can I maximize my dollar other than winning a Super Bowl? Uh, we could play the waiting game and I could see what other QBs in my age range, in my bracket uh, uh, of trajectory, what they're getting paid. My homes already got paid and they didn't already said uh, that that was a bogus deal. So he got underpaid, be honest with you. So yeah, it looked good on paper, but he didn't get a lot of money and guarantees compared to what everybody else is getting low key. So like, but let's keep in mind, that's, that can all be handled in his second contract. Lamar has yet to get to his first contract. We already just spoke on Josh Allen. He got paid already and ain't did nothing. Uh, got close enough to make it to the Super Bowl, but couldn't cash in. You feel me? Despite all the weapons that he got, y'all top, y'all top notch, top tier at y'all health when y'all did that. I ain't saying they top notch compared to us. I'm just saying y'all really ain't have no excuses not to, to take it all the way there. You know what I'm saying? So Russell got paid. Russell already had his first contract. And we all as fans done witness the one yard run that should have been to win the game and they passed the ball. I mean, I don't care who was on the sideline. It, 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 You could still make the call and make the play at the end of the day. You the one that's getting the ball in your hands. You know what I'm saying? And it, what, for you to make that play, what else can they say? I'm not listening to the coaches do that. And from what I assume to what I, from what I assume, I thought I, gathered from this. Not that I looked it up recently or nothing like that, but I think that lost the locker room for Russell. So, ever since then, he really didn't do much. But, again, he not again, but he won his ring, though. You know what I'm saying? But, again, he, he is past his first contract. And to be honest with you, he's past his prom. Lamar has yet to hit his prom. Ain't no way Kyler Kyler as well had a full staff. What what excuse can you give for why they came short? They came up short. Y'all had y'all y'all stars that that y'all needed other than DeAndre being out. But it wasn't like he did he wasn't contributing. You ain't have no type major injuries to y'all defense. And to be honest with you, if you put Trace McSorley, right, as QB1 for the Cardinals, I could almost assure you that their amount of success this year will be the same. I don't think Kyler is... I wouldn't have him as my franchise QB. Now, if we didn't have Joe, I'd be like, yeah, all right, cool. But we got who we got from not having Joe, and I wouldn't trade him for nothing. So, it's no reason for Shannon Sharp to sit there and say shit like, Oh well, he's 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 the most reliant on his legs. 
Who got the most rushing TDs as a QB? It's crazy how they just lie to, 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 to fans that don't either have the time to look at what's going on behind the scenes and people say they get caught up in stats, but this is this is where it matters. Because people could say asinine statements like that and, and on a national platform, a, a, a television platform, and say he's the most reliant upon his legs when Josh Allen has the most rushing TDs as a QB right now in the league in history it might be in history but come on man how you how you get away with saying that and skip just agreeing We've seen Lamar make throws in the pocket. Most of the time when he's running, it's it's because the play was called for it. Or the offensive line ain't doing their job. And that's what it is. And shouts out to Max Crosby too, man. He's a he's a dog, man. But come on, man. Anything to just discredit Lamar, they gonna say and they gonna do. There's no reason for Lamar to sit out. You know why? Because sitting out don't help nobody. Remember Le'Veon Bell sat out? Cause he wanted his bread? Cause he felt like he was deserved that. How hard did he fall after doing that? Yeah, he got some money. But how where did he go after that? His whole spirit was gone after doing that. And I was rooting for uh, Le'Veon to have much success with us, but he didn't. He didn't do much. He didn't do anything. But that goes to my point, too, about we wasn't fully healthy last year. Lamar was out six games, I believe. And if he would have played them six games, I have no doubt in my mind we would have won all of them. And we still would have made it to the playoffs. Hurt team and all. So how, how is it? What do we need to prove? What is sitting out going to do other than What is sitting out going to do other than prove what we already know? We are nothing without Lamar. On some, on some, real, on some real shit, life shit, yo. You got to finish strong, man. That's just, this is me. This is just me. I ain't saying Lamar live by this. I ain't saying nothing like that. But on some real shit, you got to finish strong, man. I don't, I don't bodybuilder, I don't lift weights and all that but you're not going to be lazy about when you're doing your last set or some old shit you you don't go hard for that last one and I think me personally, I think that's how Lamar is, that's how he built there's no reason to sit out when you can still prove and you can still finish strong fuck, Joe ain't sit out Joe, and the grand Joe, Joe ain't. I don't think he had leverage to do no shit like that. But Joe ain't sit out, and not. And it's funny because maybe that's why Lamar brought Joe up. Um, I think the reporters did. But maybe it's foreshadowing that he spoke on Joe Flacco because Joe Flacco didn't sit out. No, he said no. Nah, all right, bet. They put the pieces around me. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. And he did what he got. He did what he had to do. He proved to Biscotti, hey, I'm I'm a Super Bowl winning QB, MVP of the game. Uh, I need my money, and he got that. 
So Lamar is going into his fourth season. Why not play? Why y'all assuming the worst? He could have got hurt last year. He could have got hurt in the playoffs. He got hurt in the playoffs. They all play a vicious game of football. All the all these NFL players. From the worst player to the best. It don't matter who you are. You can get injured. Joe Burrow got injured with an ACL injury his first season. Carson Wentz got hurt and let Nick Foles win the Super Bowl for him and been on a decline since. They don't talk about Wentz using his legs that got him hurt. And the main reason I know that because I know Philadelphia Eagles fans, man. Shouts to the Eagles, man. I think they're going to do some good this year. But they don't talk about Wentz. Like, I mean, how 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 played out is it to keep trying to drive home? Some all somebody does is run and don't throw. Like, come on, man. And then and then the silly other uh played out shit is with, with Shannon. You don't want to hear what they have to say in those rooms. What difference is it from the rooms to what they say on Twitter? It still be haters that come across. I'm sure uh, Lamar be saying that. And shout out to Lamar, man. I'm sure he come across people that sit there and be saying some old hating ass shit. You're, you're a running QB. You're never going to be great. Blah, 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 whatever. Whatever. What, what much, how worse could it be than people just openly saying whatever they want or openly typing whatever they want to Lamar and don't believe he's a QB? What worse could it be? The crazy part is they invested money into him and the other ones ain't. ain't. So what, what effect would, would that have? Well, Lamar, we don't think you're that good and we're going to... How does that hurt somebody's feelings? All right. Well, I'm going to prove to you why I'm better. I'm going to show you each and every stat where I'm better than whomever. And we're going to go off what the market has been. It's called negotiating. Granted, it don't always go in your favor, right? Because when you're dealing on, on terms of just everyday life, it's, it's not too it's not too often where you can get a job where you can sit there and negotiate. They always going to sit there and say this is what we pay because this is what's going on. No matter what you may have, it's not right. But that's what what goes on. So what's the difference when there's millions involved? The only thing I can say about this that I know for a fact, for real, for real, forget opinion. The franchise is worth $3.4 billion. We need to do... It, it's sitting there. It's invested. If we got a three point... If I got a $3.4 billion house, right? Come on, the dumb shit. If I got a $3.4 billion house, right? How much am I expecting to make much more off of it if I just sit on it? It's worth all this. Regardless, I'm not even going to get into details right now. Because this is just, I'm, I'm just flowing right now. So I, I can't even dissect all what I'm saying right now. But if the house is worth $3.4 billion, typically you want to make more off of the house. So let's just say for sake of argument... You make more money just having a house. Every year that goes on, you make more money. So at what point do we sit there and realize we're going to make more regardless? Because 
this is this is this house is the shit. The more the market go up, the more our house gonna go up, our house value gonna go up. I don't know what they thinking. I don't know what EDC is thinking. I don't know what Biscotti is thinking. I don't know what Lamar is thinking. But again, we got $3.4 billion uh, invested. Not invested. Uh, it's worth $3.4 billion. Hot. How is $250 million going to hurt that? How? How is $300 million going to hurt that? We're going to make more. It's going to be worth more 10 years from now. What, what does that matter right now? You know what I'm saying? So... It's crazy. It's not crazy because, again, we've seen it with Joe Flacco. But at the same time, you know, to me, they keep using the word outlier. I'll use that one. Who's to say Lamar ain't waiting for the other QBs to get paid to? You know? Who else is behind Joe Burrow? I mean, not Joe Burrow. Justin Herbert, that's good. Trevor Lawrence isn't good. I don't believe in none of them. But who else is, is after that? Nobody. So that's what I think Lamar is doing. He's waiting for the last few of the prime QBs to see if they're going to get paid or not. And they're going to go, he's going to go, he, he might go off of that. I don't know. But as long as their relationship stay solid, Ravens and, and Lamar, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. But if it's the opposite of that, everything that I'm saying, and it's not going to be a positive situation, it's best to let Lamar be free. It is. Uh, no, no arguments for me on that. Um, now, granted, franchise tag will come into place, but as long as we hear from Lamar what's going on and it's positive, whether positive or negative, I'm good, man. As long as they just don't hit me with the shit, that that type shit, out of out the blue. But other than that, I'm good, man. I'm good, y'all. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I got a good feeling Lamar is staying. I've been made a video saying Lamar word is bond. Uh, I think he keeps it real with us. Um, I know Lamar likes to troll. Uh, who doesn't like to laugh? I never cared to make a video about the Miami Dolphins allegations. None of that. Because it's not happening. Um. I believe he said it. But, yeah, he just be trolling, man. I don't trip off none of that stuff on social media like that. That's there for laughs. You know? Sometimes it be real. I guess. Define, uh, depends on your definition of real, but... It's just there for laughs, so... I'm not getting caught up in, in what people assume until it happened. Then, then, then we can talk. Uh, but side uh, side note, manifestation is different from what I'm saying about that. You know, you can't see that all the time, but at the same time, you do gotta see it visually. You gotta feel it. You gotta be be in that. But that's a whole nother situation, man. It's a whole nother video, man. I'm only fixing my glasses because I don't like wearing glasses like that. So like this shit be fucking with me. Like I don't like the natural feeling of that, but yeah, man. So down down with a 53 man roster. Um 
Oh, before I get on that, EDC, man, y'all get it right, man. Pay, pay Lamar, man. It don't got to be tomorrow, but pay Lamar, man. Please, yo. It's, it's, it's unnecessary, man. This is this is an overdue, long, drawn out. Why wait until you win the Super Bowl to do that? You did that already with, with Joe. Why do it again with somebody who better than Joe? I'm just saying. So, yeah. Regardless, um, 53-man roster got cut down. Uh, a lot of lot of players. Um, I don't know how Welch made it. He's trash to me. Um, uh, we suck at pass rush. I'm still waiting on Jason Pierre Paul to be signed. I don't know if that's happening. Um, but it, it would help tremendously. Uh, um, yeah, I really don't got much to talk about with the 53-man roster. I mean, it is what it is. I don't care who's first, who's last. Uh, I just need everybody on this team in a purple jersey to make plays. That's all I care about. Uh, do your job. Uh, Proche is back. Uh, wasn't worried. I knew they were stashing my way, letting them get right. Uh, shouts out to, to uh, Demarcus Robinson. I didn't even know his pops played for us. I seen the clip. I seen the video. I'm like, damn. Small, small world. I, I that's crazy. Uh, regardless, shouts out to the to. Demarcus Robinson because he was good in college and I know what to expect from him uh, despite where he was on the death chart for the uh, Chiefs it don't matter man as long as you come on the team to make plays man a lot of teams I could point to so many teams that did not have star key players like that not to say that it's not helpful I'm just saying they don't always go like that to, to, to win it don't I'm sorry if you're gonna Julian Edelman, Jul, Julian Edelman, you gonna tell me he's in your top ten receivers of all time? You gonna tell me Danny Amendola is in your top ten wide receivers of all time? So let's keep in mind though, they got two Super Bowl rings if I'm not mistaken, because of Brady. But they did their job. That's why uh, Bill Check get praised so much. They had he get guys that come to work to do their job. We gonna put you in this system, and this is how you gonna help us. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Um, I expect big things from Queen this year. Uh, I want to keep in mind my my reserved judgment my uh lack of criticism on queen comes from solely uh, the fact that he's new at his position if i'm not mistaken or he didn't get much play at his position uh in college like that but uh he's the first lsu player we ever drafted you know what i'm saying and i don't want it to be a bad stain on on that happening because of him you know what i'm saying so I'm just hopeful that he get, puts it all together this year. I got big hopes for him because last year it was coming together. We just, as a team, we didn't do much. We couldn't do much. A lot of injuries, man. But, uh, yeah, everybody's getting back right. Speaking of, shouts out to Marcus Peters because I seen his presser. He said that he fucked with uh, McDonald's. So that's, that's uh, what's the word? Reassuring. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I really didn't know what what to expect from McDonald's. But like I've been, I don't know if I may say that. I think I said that in another video. I think Marcus Peters is going to help out McDonald's and cover up McDonald's issues a lot more than I would like. But uh, regardless, I mean, Ed Reed did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? For them defensive coordinators that we had. So it is what it is. But, um, I want to need Marcus Williams to, to to play like Ed Reed. Speaking of Ed Reed, this 
motherfucker better be the next coming of Ed Reed because seventy million dollars guaranteed is crazy, and I don't even think they gave that ever to to Ed Reed. Like, so that shit like that is why I believe is the the Lamar Jackson deal would get done because if you're paying people like Marcus Williams, not to say he trash, but he's not no Ed Reed. So if you're playing players like that up front guaranteed, especially Marlon, because Marlon didn't I not fuck with Marlon, man. I hate to I hate to do this. Like I fuck with Marlon Humphrey, yo. But let's be real. Marlon was not good until until for real Peters came. He wasn't good. I ain't gonna say he was trash, but Humphrey would get burned often. He would get burned. Yes, he was very physical corner. That's why they drafted him. Uh, uh, in your face corner. Uh, that's going to try to stick with you. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it, I was not mad at the pick. But at the same time, you pay you pay Humphrey what you did. They said he's restructured. It should have been more. Stay, they said Stanley, speaking of restructure, they said Stanley restructure uh, should have been more. But, you know, it is what it is. So when when Lamar time to get paid, whenever he's trying to get paid, I don't know what the holdup was or what the issue was or what, what whatever stalled it. I don't know. Maybe they can still get it done tomorrow. I don't fucking know. But there shouldn't be no, no issues when it's time to pay that bread up for Lamar. Lamar is much more important than all them players, yo. Stanley... Humphrey together Peters and I love Peters but I'll take Lamar all day to start my franchise None, of them, I don't care about none of, them, none of them after that I've been saying this too I think in my first year videos I don't care about nobody getting signed other than Lamar I don't care I wouldn't even have paid Andrews. That's how serious I, I would have been when it came to Lamar. But you know, whatever they got, they got it set up. However, they got it set up. I, I, I did, I'm not the owner. I'm not the uh, front office GM. None of that stuff. So I don't know what they're doing. But it, it better. The numbers better be coming soon because they're going up each game. Lamar, Lamar wins, and it's going to start. With motherfucking Jets. Okay. Which brings me to my next point. Right? Lamar is 37 and 12 as we speak. He'll be 38 and 12 come Sunday. So he'll he'll be, he already is. He'll be within the top five. QBs of all time in the first 25 hold on I'm saying it wrong within the first 40 plus games of their career have the record that he has and Mahomes is in that list Ken Stabler whoever the f that dude is is in that list you know what I'm saying and not too many other people so it's, it's them numbers gonna go up them numbers going to go up. And I think, I truly believe, Lamar will surpass Patrick Mahomes in the wins and loss categories for their career because it's going to happen this year. Mahomes is going to look real pedestrian, and I think they, they are going to be on a losing streak at some point in time. I truly believe that. And that's where Lamar is going to strike, and he's going to make his case even more for why he needs 300 mil guaranteed. So, shouts out to the Ravens for being foolish and not uh, doing what they should have early on and, and, and invested. So, now Lamar has much more leverage than what he did before. Than what he did before the 2019 MVP. Before the six games he was out. <laughs> it's just keep going to keep going up, man. Uh, I don't believe Jets are going to be able to stop us. Uh, 
Yeah, they got a good corner. So what? They had a good corner when they had the Real Revis. It didn't matter. Uh, Joe is past his prime. Uh, he really doesn't have much to play for. He's not going to carry uh, Jets nowhere. But I'm going to need I'm going to need uh, I got another pack of waters in here but I don't feel like opening the business up. I'm going to need a way to have uh, uh, what is the word? Out, is it out? Standout season, I'll just say that. And they need to start game one. You tear Joe ass up, man. Oh, wait, you tear Joe ass up, Queen. I need an interception. I need a fumble recovery. Peters, I need an interception. I need to see JK out there. Gus is coming back. Gus, Gus the bus is coming back. I think Ojabo is coming back too. But Lamar is going to be 38 and 12 come this Sunday. Sunday night. He will be 38 and 12. So uh, I think the next thing I want to, it's just, it's just little, just little topics. I don't see how Aaron Donald isn't suspended. Uh, I believe they suspended Miles Garrett for taking his helmet off and hitting another player. Uh, I'm not sure how Aaron Donald's getting away with uh, what he did. Um, I would have not paid Russell Wilson uh, that money. I think Eagles are going to be pretty damn nice this year. At least on the NFC, of course. Uh, I need Humphrey to bounce back this year from last season. I need to see the Humphrey from when him and Odell was tussling. I need to see the Humphrey uh, that was punching the ball out and making plays happen. And that typically happens when Peter's out there. So I expect big things for this season, man. And anything uh, less, John should be out of there. And he needs to take Roman with him. Let Keith Williams and T. Martin figure out who who wants to be coach and offensive coordinator. I'm trying to think anything else that 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 caught my eye. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm honestly over talking about Lamar contract. Or not me talking about it. I'm overhearing about it. But I will be believed when it gets done. I don't believe Lamar is leaving the Ravens. But I do believe the Ravens front office is fucking stupid. The majority of the time. Majority, um, but I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful. Um, it ain't Friday yet, so I we'll see what goes on Friday. But uh, I'm definitely gonna try to make another video before we get to Game One on Sunday. So, uh, Ravens flock, Ravens nation, flock nation, man. 
if y'all stayed this long watching the videos, man, watching the video, man, thank you. Uh, I appreciate all my subscribers. Thank y'all, man. Uh, if you're a new uh, watcher, subscribe. Uh, y'all protect y'all energy out here, man. I know I say that shit. But I say that shit because I be saying that shit for me. And I speak as if or give advice as if I would want it myself. You know what I'm saying? So y'all protect y'all energy out here, man. And when I say protect, I mean be careful, man. Be careful with going back and forth with people over things that may not matter the next day. Uh, the next week The next month uh, Be careful With People that's trying to Purposely uh, Disrupt your, your energy You know what I'm saying So that's what I mean by protect You know what I mean You feel me If y'all ain't Go check it out. Please do. Uh, Pierre Bourne. I think it's called Good Movie. That's my shit. New album. I, don't, I ain't getting paid for that. I'm just saying because he reposted my video from one of the songs and shit. He would, I would just be clowning. But uh, yeah, man. Protect your energy, man. Y'all be safe out this motherfucker, man. It's getting crazier and crazier every day. You know, never know what to expect out this, this motherfucker, man. So, y'all, it was good rapping with y'all. It's been a minute, but I'm back because we in full effect with the season ready. I'm hype. I know I'm a little mel what is it? Melacolony? 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 I don't know. But I'm real chill right now because I'm, I'm vibing. But I'm hyping shit for the season. So like yeah man, it's lit. We want all the smoke like I've been saying all this off season. It's going down. Uh, Ravens Nation, Fox Nation, uh, Ravens fans, fuck. I'll holler at y'all in the next one, man. Like, subscribe. I don't care about no share. But I'll holler at y'all, man, in the next one, man. I'm out.